In this tutorial, we will be installing WebMean virtual mean panel on a Linux server that we have deployed previously. This will be a VPS server and it's running a Debian 12 bookworm on it. The first step is connecting to the server via SSH. So open your terminal and type SSH root at sign your IP address and give it the password to connect to your server. So I open my terminal and type the command and press enter and I will be asked for the password and after entering the password you won't see anything because of the security reasons but the passwords are actually entered. After that press enter and now we are logged into the server as root. After logging into the server the first step of installing virtual mean like any other installation is updating and upgrading the system. So let's type apt update and apt upgrade and dash y to answer yes to the confirmation question note that if you have not logged in as root and you're just a sudoware user you need to do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade i'm logged in as root so i don't need to type the sudo so i press enter and update and upgrade the system The scenario of this installation is downloading the package from the web and installing it. So we need some packages to do that. And at this step, we will be installing those necessary packages before the main package. Of course, we install the packages by apt install or sudo apt install dash y to answer yes to the confirmation question. And one of the packages is wget and the other one is curl or curl. Press enter to install these two packages. And now we are ready to download the virtual mean installation file from the official server. So let's download the installer by wget in from the address https software.virtualmean.com. It's .com because virtual mean has a paid version as well. And then gpl slash scripts slash install.sh and this will be the installer file. Now we have the installer downloaded on our server and just by calling it the script will pull all of the necessary packages and install all of the virtual mean package on our server. So let's do it now. At this stage we have the install script here and we need to run it but before running it we need to make it executable and we do it by typing chmod plus x and the name of the script and now we are ready to call the script to execute it if we are root we type period slash and the name of the script but if we are just a sudoer user we need to put a sudo before the command after that we press enter and the system will be checked and as you see we have our server listed here as a supported server so we are good to go to install that script i type y and press enter and start the installation the installation will be done in four steps the first step is checking the system and the second step is setup as you see i'm getting an error here and that's because I have not set any domain for this server. This VPS server is deployed only for educational purposes and I didn't set up any domain for it. But here we need to set a domain so the virtual mean has a domain to come up on. I just type host.example.com as it suggests and I press enter to go ahead and continue the installation the third step after setup will be the installation process and this one may take a little while so give it some time to do its job this step takes the longest time and there's nothing very special to talk about it actually it's just an automation process that pulls the packages and installs them on the server so I just fast forward this part to save you some time so far the installation is complete and the packages are being configured by the installation script and now 
user mean, web mean, post fix, and all those necessary packages, spam assassin, all of them are being configured by the install script. And now it's time to do the virtual main configuration. And this is what you see after the installation is complete. And as you see, we are getting all success messages plus two web addresses to call in order to get to the virtual main panel. As you see, it's on the port 10,000. So if you call these addresses and you couldn't open the panel, maybe it's because of your firewall. So check that the port 10,000 is open and it's not blocked by the firewall. At this step, virtual mean is installed and ready to use. So let's see how we can access it. So I open a web browser and call the address and here I can give it the username and password of my VPS server and then I can log in. And this is how the panel looks after logging into it. We have a virtual mean to manage our virtual servers, also a web mean for manage the server itself and also a post installation wizard that we can go on with. And this was the whole process of installing and setting up a web mean plus virtual mean panel on our Linux system. As you saw, most of the process was done by the powerful virtual mean install script and it was a very smooth and easy process to follow. Now we have a powerful and complete solution for creating unlimited virtual servers and host unlimited websites on them. As you may already know, WebMean and VirtualMean are both free and open source and you can use them for any type of project. These two are very old, tested and secure and you can count on them for any type of project from very small to very large. Hope this tutorial helped you in your server administrator journey. Stay tuned for more Linux server and security tutorials and until the next one, I bid you farewell.